I was on the internet the other day and uh, people were gushing over the subtleties of a circuit. Uh, basically the circuit barely worked and I thought to myself, hell, I can design crap. And you know, sometimes things don't have to be that complicated or that precise. So here's a simple little voltage switch that uh, you can build. Uh, it uses a 12 volt relay. Now, I'm going to start with the FET switched shorted out. So we're going to watch this relay and the relay will come on at about 7 volts and it'll drop out about 2.6 volts. So that's about 5 volts of hysteresis. That's a little too much for it to be useful for anyone. So we'll switch this FET out and now we'll use the uh, the gate voltage of a FET to determine when we turn on. So this one will get up to should be somewhere around 13.5 and it turns on. If we drop the voltage slowly it drops off at about 13. So that's a half volt of hysteresis. Uh, that could be useful. It's uh, still a little tight. Now I'm going to throw in some positive feedback with this switch. So if we notice, it turns on about 13.7 and drops out about 12.7. And that's pretty useful. Now if we pull this circuit out of here, show you what we have. Uh, we have a standard relay, a diode across it to protect it, and uh, we have a simple end channel FET hooked up. A voltage divider, uh, this FET will turn on at about 3 volts. Now we always want to have some resistor up here because we want to protect the gate from going over 20 volts. So, you know, if you had a 20 to 30 to 40K, that would probably still work. Uh, the pot itself, we make that about 10K. And we basically move up, and once it gets to be about 3.3 volts, that's typical for a lot of FETs, uh, the relay will turn on. And once the relay is on, uh, it, it takes a little less current for it to maintain itself and so we can use that to create a little bit of hysteresis. But now we're switching the output and if you notice before uh, the voltage increased when we went to positive feedback. That's because this resistor is pulling uh, current to ground when it's off and when you switched over to a, a positive voltage, it feeds a positive voltage in, so the voltage is a little bit higher. So you have that positive feedback, and that gets you uh, a, a higher voltage hysteresis. Uh, this is about 0.9 volts with uh, 750K. Uh, you could lower that and get a wider range. A lot of experimenting you can do around here. You always want to put a capacitor about uh, 10 microfarads to 47 microfarads here. Uh, the reason is is that if you're connecting to a motor or anything, initially when you turn on, you're going to have a surge of current that generally drops the voltage a little bit. And you want to make sure that this thing just doesn't turn off in that short period of time. It also helps you shield against any uh, radiation that might be picked up from radio stations or induced voltage from inverters. But this is uh, a nice little simple circuit. Uh, this will vary with temperature a little bit, but it'll do the job. I uh, hope you found this interesting. Uh, I might be doing a variation of this as a battery maintainer. Because in a battery you want to charge up a battery to like 14.4 volts. But uh, after it reaches that voltage, you want to drop down to something like 13.8, 13.6. 
to maintain the battery. So this same basic circuit be, could be used for that. Again, it's something very simple. Uh, you can have a lot of fun with this, so uh, try it out. Thanks for watching.